Welcome to the Michigan Skier Show with our host, Jim Neff. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. We're here at Boyne Mountain with Frida Wera, who's not only a great ski journalist, but also represents the Ski Hall of Fame up in Ishwimming. Frida, tell us a little bit about uh, that great uh, place for, that every skier in America should visit at one time or another. Oh, absolutely. The U.S. National Ski Hall of Fame is now 51 years old, and at the end of January, we inducted Peekaboo Street, Donna Weinbrecht, that amazing woman in Moguls, Alan Engen, pretty much the father of ski history for Utah, and also an amazing four-event competitor, and then also Thor Grosswald, and Thor and his family are all also just amazing ski um, legends. Uh, all for Alan and Thor, both their fathers, their uncles, brothers have also been inducted to the Hall of Fame. It was a really special event. And next year we invite you. It'll probably be the last weekend in January. If you are a cross-country skier as well, come up and do the No Cayman on Ski Marathon. That's held in conjunction with the uh, induction ceremony. But it's just an amazing place. And now the, the Ski Hall of Fame is really growing. We have just brought on board uh, Tom West from Calgary. He was very instrumental in the Olympic ski park there in Calgary and he will be becoming our CEO and uh, things are going to be changing so expect more news from the Ski Hall of Fame. Now, I visited the Ski Hall and it's just a tremendous place to spend as many hours as you care to make it. Uh, tell us a little bit about the person who comes in the front door of the Ski Hall of Fame. What are some of the things that they're going to see there? Well, Basically, I think one of the most exciting things is to tour the Hall of Fame. We have now 342 honored members, and we have their photos there, a little bit of a bio, and it gives you a key reference for all the different disciplines that skiing has in basically throughout its 9,000 year history, all the different things that have been involved with that, whether it's been um, the mountaineering that uh, people, you know, in the 10th Mountain Division and war, um, the ski jumping heritage of our country, which is why the Ski Hall of Fame is in Ishpeming after all. Um, ski history is a lot older than um, fancy shaped skis and, and chairlifts and stretch pants and safety bindings. So you get a feel for how deep our roots are in skiing and um, I love the people it represents, and then of course, it's really neat to just kind of tour all the places that people ski in the United States, which I believe Michigan, we gotta check on this, I think Michigan ranks highest. They used to say New York had more ski resorts than Michigan, but I think when you count all of our cross country trails, Michigan's a leader. I know that when I went to the Ski Hall of Fame, a couple of things that I just uh, found very interesting was one was a display with all the pins and patches mm -hmm. from all over the country. And the other one was just taking a look at all the ski gear and ski clothing from throughout the years. And, uh, you know, a lot of those those fashions have come and gone and, and wild colors and, and different fabrics. So it was a lot of fun. Frida, also, I would be remiss if I didn't mention this. You had a pretty great uh, cross-country ski experience recently yourself. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um... You know, when you fall in love with skiing, and I, I actually here on the on the chairlift, I was asking a young lad that was riding up, he was a snowboarder, and I said, aren't you supposed to be in school today? And he goes, well, I'm playing hooky. And I said, well, you know, skiing's more important than school anyway. And he said, would you be my mom? <laughs> well, I remember telling my teenage daughter who accused me of saying, mom, you think skiing's more important than school, that basically when you ski, it's the vehicle to take you to the most precious places on this planet. And in April of 2001, I was the first woman from Michigan to ski to the geographic North Pole. Well, that's about as far north as you want to get. <laughs> Frida, it's been a great experience having you here with Michigan Skier TV. Much uh, luck in the future. And, and we invite everyone to go visit the Ski Hall of Fame. By the way, you can um, see that Ski Hall of Fame online, can't you? Yep, yep. There's some photos there. And just to let you know, coming up in May, we're going to have a very special celebration. It will be the 100th anniversary of the founding of organized skiing in Michigan. And that is the USSA, the United States Ski and Snowboard Association. Bill Moralt will be coming to Ishpeming. He's a keynote address for our anniversary. So... If you love skiing and you want to be a little bit more in touch with that history, come to Ishpeming the first weekend in May and join the celebration. And the web address again? Is www.skihall.com. This has been Jim Neff along with Frida Ware here at Boyne Mountain. We hope you enjoy your skiing. Join us next time for MichiganSkier.tv.